Now we're going to go on the edition of Revealing God. I'm your host, Brother Victor. Now, to, we're talking about the seven pillars of wisdom. I want to introduce it, and I'm going to break into several parts. Well, first of all, we're talking about knowledge. Now, knowledge is a very important thing because the kind of knowledge we have determines the outcome of the wisdom we will get. We'll be talking about the different kind of wisdoms later, but understand that it's very important you have the right knowledge first. And knowledge is actually into two categories, which you can be gnosis, which can be general knowledge or epignosis, which is specific knowledge or revealed knowledge. And throughout the scripture, you see this after when, you know, being interchanged in the word knowledge in the Greek. Because these are Greek words. Now, what I mean by general knowledge, for example, you can say I'm in, living in a country called maybe uh, Nigeria, but I'm not telling you the state I am in. So it's not specific, it's a general knowledge. Now, I can now say I am living in this state, maybe Abuja, Lagos, or Benin. Then you can say, oh, that's specific. That is called a prognosis. So the coming of Jesus was not known for the first time. And therefore, you know, people just do, ah, it's going to come one time. And even far, the Jews think Jesus is still with, they are still waiting for the first coming of Jesus. But Jesus came, and the Bible clearly says it was revealed to Mary and some um, prophets that were waiting for Jesus. And they got to know that Jesus was coming and the waiting for his coming. So that is a specific, uh, specific compared to the general. Now we know Jesus is coming back again. We know it's, it's you know is a general knowledge, but the specific time is unknown. It's only known by God. And as the time approaches, it becomes closer and closer that we know that we are closer to the season. That is where we are in this world. We know where we are closer to the end than the beginning. So that is the first aspect of wisdom I want to talk about. So if you're not giving a lot of Christ, it, this is, all this doesn't make sense. You need to give a lot of Christ to be able to tap into God's divine knowledge because God's knowledge is spiritual knowledge. So if you're not born again, set the prayer on the screen. And if you're already born again, tell somebody about Jesus Christ. I'll see you again. God bless.